that. That'll fix that, because now I'm not fucking <laughs> echoing through that. Excellent. So we got that, got that. Just gotta check everything before we get started. We're well, doing... considering your name on here. No, not that. We're doing a little bit of tweaking. Nope, not going back to do that. Why is everything changed? Channel. Yes. So we're gonna get in there. Excellent. There we go. Good, good. Now I'm supposed to go... Nope, I'm supposed to go this way. Okay, I was going the right way. We did the fucking Seymour fight. I should be good to go now. Why does that thing not look familiar? Make sure everybody gets their experience. Of course. Make sure everybody gets their damage. Finally, to end it all. Okay. Mech leader can't be captured. That's no unfortunate. Let's go. I'm trying to remember. So we beat him last stream. Oh my god, it's been a while. I can't even remember where next is. Too long since I played this. No, I was just past here because I got that chest. Or was just here. Yes, I know, I just started and I'm saving again. Oh, I've got so much editing to do after this. gotten here. from all of them this many who wields power on this scale and what could they be calling hey you know something don't you Still i beans. know nothing look not to others for knowledge this is your journey too you might die you know no. Not too much, not too much, Corgi. Uh, thanks for the follow earlier. I think it's funny because, like, when you this followed, I was actually doing all my editing, so I had Streamlabs open. This is my story. And the notification actually startled me because when I have Streamlabs and that open, I s the notifications still pop up even if, like, I'm not live on stream. <laughs> also. Bring this up right quick for you. Just go right there. Like uh, I know, I noticed you see my tweet for the the giveaway this morning too. So uh, just as a quick heads up, there, uh, anybody in here who's looking to take part in the giveaway, uh, we're going to be drawing at the end of September. Just because I want to give like enough people to get in, enough people to get like their tickets and stuff like that. Your first ticket is 100% free. 
uh, just go to the link there that I just popped up for the giveaway and you just type in one hit the option for the tickets every other subsequent uh, subsequent ticket after that is uh, based on like the channel points so I have it set at 2,000 channel points uh, I think when you go to the giveaway page it shows you how often points are distributed uh, yeah it's 20 points every five minutes um, once you hit the follow you automatically get 50 uh, obviously bits cheers will get you extra points uh, subscribers get like basically a bonus ticket they get an automatic 2,000 points and uh, subscribers are two times more likely to win for every ticket that they have in the draw and subscribers also get six times the uh, the points while they're watching <coughs> I don't know why that didn't work in the other thing but uh, that's how that works uh, so How's everything going there, Corgi? Just uh, tuning into some Final Fantasy X. It's been been uh, I think a couple months now since I've been been on. I'm trying to remember where the fuck I'm at at the moment. But uh. I mainly, mainly do RPG streams. I haven't really done anything that's been rice. I'm current. Uh, the current thing I'm doing right now is I go through like different series and stuff. Like I've done uh, the whole Resident Evil series. I've done uh, the Kingdom Hearts series, like start to finish. I'm doing all of the Final Fantasy games, so I've already done one through nine, and I'm currently in the middle of ten. Um, <laughs> like, if you're looking to catch up on anything that I've done, but, like, if you <laughs> if you haven't played Ten in a Hot Minute, I'm guessing you're prob like you've probably you played too. them all anyways. Um, <laughs> I have, like, I upload uh, these streams and, like, cut up half an hour segments on YouTube. So, like, if there's anything you wanted to check, like, if I did anything, or, like, different challenges and whatnot. Um, I'm trying to think what other games that I've done. I'm actually going to check that real quick. I'm trying to think, Resident Evil, Kingdom Hearts. Wait, this is a dream. Hey everybody, make sure to pause that frig, because uh, I got dream? everything in playlist too, so you don't have to search for anything. So Kingdom Hearts, I did all the Kingdom Hearts games also on the hardest difficulties. So let's see, uh, I'm doing Star Ocean First Departure. That'll be next weekend, or I might do it tomorrow, depending. Uh, I try to switch them up. Usually one weekend I'll do one. Uh, the other weekend I'll do the other game. I'm currently doing the Star Ocean series and the Final Fantasy series. Uh, but I've got one through nine up. I've got all of the Kingdom Hearts games. I've got all the Resident Evils done. I did Chrono Cross, uh, Final Fantasy Origin. <coughs> Let's see where we ass. I did Hellblaze. That was in the middle there. Tales of Arise. Oh, I already did Tales of Arise. Really? So I guess I won't have to do that because one of the other uh, series is that I'm gonna do after I finish one of these is I'm gonna do the Tales series because the only Tales game I've played is Arise. Long ago, <clears throat> was a war. Oh, I love Second Story is my favorite of the Star Ocean yes. series. Like, it's so good. Like, the crafting system, I'd say, is probably peak there, especially if you learn how, like, the little workarounds for it. But the Star Ocean games are phenomenal. There's all kinds of, like, uh, post-game content. Uh, there's another one. I did uh, Werewolf Apocalypse, Cyberpunk 2077. What did you do? Resident Evil Final Fantasy, Resident Evil. I've been doing Final Fantasy for a while. Did a little couple streams with the with my partner. Yeah, I think most of them have been... Oh, I did Maneater. Maneater is fucking ridiculous. Yeah, I'm currently in the middle of uh, Star Ocean First Departure. What? The dreams of the faith... Arise was decent. I liked Arise. <coughs> oh, second story, yeah. Did you do any of the, uh... If I remember correctly, there's after-game dungeons. Like, there's a lot of bonus dungeons after you beat the game. It's one of the th things I really like about Star Ocean. It's just, like, even after you're finished, like, the base game of it, 
and like the base story for it they give you a lot of like extra content at the end there's like all kinds of like, like crazy dungeons and stuff and then obviously the coliseums and whatnot to finish and if the faith stop dreaming <coughs> have you played any of the other star ocean series or was it just just uh second story I think one of the main things I didn't like about this game was the fact that, like, the weapons didn't, like, besides when you get, like, your final weapons and, like, get, like, the damage break no. buffs and stuff, that the so weapons like aren't dream. really as important in this I... game. It's, like, all of your stats and the sphere grid. Don't get me wrong, the sphere grid is a really nice con concept. We've been dreaming so long. We're tired. But not much past that. Yeah, no, there's, there's, uh... I definitely take a look online. There's I I can't remember how many, but I think there's two or three secret dungeons at the end of Star Ocean Two. What are you saying? Star Ocean Two secret dungeon. Well, it might just be one. It might just be one, but I think it's a big one. I think some of the other ones have multiple. On the 360? I'm trying to remember which one they put on the 360, because there's a lot of Star Ocean games, like... I think there's like six or seven? So there's there's quite a few. <coughs> oh, I'm unconscious. It's all the drugs coming out of this wall. Like, look at how many, like, all the, all the gas just coming out of there and nobody cares. You okay? I, I'm okay. Trying to think if that Discord link even works anymore. Nothing. I blacked out. I was dreaming. Nope, of course it's a you invalid me. invite. And I woke up. So, just, just ignore the, uh, the Discord link there. I gotta get that fixed up. Nothing like a good nap. Well, <laughs> Nothing like I'm a good ready. nap. You know, naps, go. naps are delicious. I like naps. Naps are good. <clears throat> I'm trying to think, what uh, like, I'm trying to think what one was released on the 360. That's gonna bother me now. No, no, play Final Fantasy X. I can check that later. <laughs> oh, I'm thinking it's the one with the elf guy. Um. Like it's it's on the tip of my tongue. I can't I can't remember the name of it right now. Oh, Grace, the poison monster. Well, one of the poison monsters. <clears throat> he did attack, I believe. I don't know, like all the Star Oceans are are good. Well, it's all all made by Square, right? You got the Star Ocean series, Final Fantasy series. So if you're like, if you're, I, I find most people, if they're like JRPG people, Square is a good company to go with, just because they like most of the series they do are Star Ocean related, or not Star Ocean related, uh, JRPG related. That's the one. And I find that they're usually, like, top of the... Oh, is, is Dra I think Dragon Quest is also square. Maybe not. Dragon Quest, Dragon Quest, Dragon Quest. Let's see. We get Warren back in here. So be it. Oh, it's probably dead, though. Uh, yep, yeah, Square Enix. Okay, yeah. So yeah, friggin' Star Ocean, Final Fantasy, Dragon Quest. Like it's kind of like if you're if you're an RPG fan, Square is Square is definitely definitely the way to go in terms in terms of substance and not not to mention quality. I know some people aren't a fan of some of them, but like you know, like in my own opinion, most Square games. I've really enjoyed. I don't think I've ever really been 
overly disappointed in any of them. Like, some are obviously subpar compared to others, like, especially when you get your favorites in there and whatnot. But I find, for the most part, Square tends to... tends to deliver for the most part. I said most part a lot. But, um... <coughs> I find, like, especially, like, graphics-wise, like, graphics-wise, Square has usually always been on top. Like, when you think about this, like, Final Fantasy X was a PS2 game, and even before that, like, Final Fantasy VIII, Final Fantasy IX were, like, a PS1, when you go back and look at some of the PS1 games that <laughs> existed at that time, and they're, they, they don't really, don't really stack up in terms of, uh, graphics, that's for sure. But, you know, I'm a, I'm a firm believer in graphics aren't everything when it comes to comes to games either, because some of my favorite games are still, like, PS1 and before. So, like, nowadays when people say a game is terrible and they won't play it because of the way it looks, it's like, you know, like, if that's, if that's your thing, whatever. But, like, a lot of times you're just you're missing out. Like, if you if you won't play a game strictly because it looks terrible, then you're probably gonna lose out on a lot of good games. It's rambling at this point. I'm just trying to think what else. Um, but yeah, like, the Final Fantasy games, I find all have like, tremendously good stories. Like, sometimes the sequels are a little bit of a miss. Like, not terribly, terribly miss, but, like, some of them I feel like they didn't really need, and some of them, like, haven't really been played because, you know, no advertisement and whatnot. Like, um, I think it was... I can't remember if it was 4 or 5 that got the sequel. But, like, they made it, like, years and years later. And don't get me wrong, like, some of them are... Some of them, I think, need sequels. It'd be nice to see, like, where they go from that. But, like, then other ones are just like, why? Like, wh what was... What was the point of a sequel when, like, the game ended, like, perfectly? Like, ten? Ten made s sense to make a sequel to? Because at the end, like... Oh, I guess I better not... You know go that way, but, like, the end the end of 10 makes sense as to why it has a sequel. Oh, that's fine, but not really. That's gonna be painful. Yup, I thought so. Ooh, I didn't expect that. Or that. Oh, who's, who's getting hurt? Who's getting hurt? He's getting hurt. Really? Let's go. That was a little disappointing. I totally was not expecting to take out a behemoth in fucking three hits. Always here indoors. But, um. <coughs> oh, where was my statement? Oh, yes. But, like, 13? Like, 13. 2, 13, 3, like... Uh, not sure how I really feel about it. Like, they're... They're interesting concepts, and, like, the visuals are fucking, like, crazy. But, like, when it comes to sequels, 13... I don't know if I feel it needed one. Like, 10, 2 was really cool that they brought back, like... The, the friggin' class system where you could switch between classes and, like, brought it, like, a new kind of pizzazz to it. I am so dark, I need light in front of this. Oh, now, now it's showing off my pale fucking skin. But, like, I don't really think like, multiple sequels was very necessary. But, I'm trying to think what else, so there... Seven, seven sequels and prequels were, were decent. <clears throat> well, I guess seven didn't have a sequel, but a prequel. The movie was kind of sequel-y. But, 
but like the remakes, the remakes are definitely visually stunning. I like that they're flushing out the the story a bunch. I know there's a lot of people that are kind of angry at what's going on because they're definitely adding things. They're taking some uh, artistic liberties. But like all in all, they're 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 good games. I'm not as big a fan of the combat. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm I'm very very turn base oriented. That's why I like my older Final Fantasies, my Dragon Quests, and my Star Oceans. But at the same time, they're they're okay. Like, I know that's the way they're trying to go because like so many people don't really have the attention span for turn-based combat anymore. So, you know, evolve with the times, right? <clears throat> As I die. Like, um, which one was this? I think it was Origin... No. Uh, Origin kind of, not really. I was gonna kind of compare it to, like, a Souls-like where you gotta, like, dodge and everything. Like, obviously nowhere near as hard as, like, any of the Dark Souls games. It almost sounded like a door. Looks like we got a job to do, yeah? I'm trying to think what else. Like, Resident Evil was always a good game. The remakes are fucking phenomenal. <coughs> if it gets dangerous, pull out quick. Right. Be careful, okay? I think I've already been live for 23 minutes. Where does the time go? The water combat's kind of neat in this game, but it's kind of a piss-off at the same time. Just because, like, you start off going somewhere, and then all of a sudden it's like, Oh! I just lost a ton of characters, which is probably why they did what they did with the sphere grid. So that you could, like, get magic with everybody. But, like, I really miss everybody being kind of, like, separated into their own specialities. Random crazy hornfish. Oh, yeah, it's just these three anyway, so I can just fucking attack everything. Fuck it. No, oh, you're gonna attack too. But like yeah, like now I'm I'm down to three three characters, so like if I needed a summon or I needed a fucking, you know, white mage or a black mage, I'm like fucking out of luck. Like obviously, you know, you don't wanna <laughs> don't wanna go go black mage on them and start using fucking lightning in the water. That would just be a, a terrible, terrible time. But like, you know, mages? You know, like why why not why not have a white mage? Oh, is that a dog I hear? It is. What are you doing, Luffy? Being crazy? Is there any games you're currently working on there, Corgi? Yeah, like right there, those are like magic -y. Flip me off, I'll flip you off. Get flipped off from the sidelines, guys. It's a terrible time. So much hate. Uh oh, charging. Means I gotta kill us. Oh, now they're both charging. That's even more terrible. And of course, they both get uh, a turn next. Ow. That was painful. Stop charging. Just, just die. There we go. <clears throat> Eating pudding. Mm -hmm. What? Why 
are you laughing? Just thinking we could be What is it? Shocks. Damn fucking poison fish. There. Now they are no longer a nuisance. That was a weird noise. Ah, oh, base on cra basement gremlins. Ugh. Make sure to capture all these creatures. Get the Coliseum all filled up. Bet you didn't do anything over here and I gotta go back further. I was correct. I feel like a lot of the things that most Final Fantasy games are missing though is they don't they don't have a min enough mini games. Like I find up until like Nine. Well, ten kind of. Like, ten had a minigame. Like, Blitzball is good. I like Blitzball. But, like, everything pre-10 had, like, tons of minigames. Like, friggin' nine, you had your card game, and you had your chocobo system. Like, the, the hot and cold. But then, besides the hot and cold, you had, like, the, like, trying to get better chocobos by going and doing all like the picking and stuff out in the world then friggin eight eight had the card game card game was like friggin so good in eight I'm trying to think they had the uh, chocobo mini game but like you needed the the memory card for that Then obviously seven had <clears throat> seven had like the bike mini game, the sub mini game, the punch out game, like the basketball. Like seven was just chocked full of one damage. Wow. Well, that's that's white magic. That would definitely be white magic. So I should have did that with Luna. Flare. No pain. Oh, that was uneventful. Of course you're gonna take her magic. Wait, magic, I'm pretty sure I gave you holy. Yeah, fuck you then, Dark Flan. Two thousand? Wow. <laughs> Five hundred. Take it all off. Can't use that no more. We have Osmos? No, special. Prey. Uh, let's just uh, Bahama fuck into this. Rar. Weakness, resistant physical attacks. Oh, no elemental weakness. Okay. The magic is obviously the 